Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This week I'm following up on a suggestion from a subscriber and taking a look at Daedalus, a new adventure game for the Gear VR. Daedalus was released on May 11, 2017 and is currently available on the Oculus Store for $4.99. It's developed by the Spanish studio Vertical Robot, an independent studio made up of video game industry veterans who have previously worked on titles such as Castlevania Lords of Shadow, Spec Ops The Line, and Deadlight. Though Deadless is a standalone game now, it actually started development as a locomotion prototype for another as yet unreleased game. Deadless is all about exploration and puzzle solving. You're not looking for items or codes or anything. The environment itself is the puzzle, similar to Portal, Never Out, or even Jump. Your goal in each stage is to activate the exit portal and leave, and this is accomplished by pressing three triangular switches. Simple enough, right? You're allowed to move freely throughout the environment, but you won't be doing any walking. Instead, you must rely on a thrust and glide mechanic. You have a small amount of thruster power to propel you into the air, after which you're able to gently glide around the level. Your thruster power recharges as soon as you land, but that's assuming you can find somewhere to do so. Between the pits, floating platforms, murky water, and bottomless depths, you'll have to make careful use of your flight power to make your way through the level. And this is the core challenge. Locate the three triangular buttons, and then figure out how to get there. Through 20 levels divided into 4 stages, you'll activate platforms, bounce off trampolines, and soar over surreal architecture to make it to the exit. In the earlier levels, it's often as simple as looking around, finding the platform, and then hopping your way up or down some stairs. Though the early levels let you get used to the control scheme, it's the later levels where things get interesting. Sprawling environments, hidden platforms, and powerful air currents mean you'll really have to plan your route. It's all about moving swiftly and efficiently, yet there's never any pressure and, at times, feels almost meditative. By no means is this a trivial game, even the early levels will have you carefully evaluating your course of action, and the mid-game levels gradually increase the scope and complexity of the environments. But the last four or five levels really shine in terms of challenging level design, and I'd love to have just a few more of those. As for replay, you can go back to any level and try to beat the master level completion time, which should keep you busy for a while. Daedalus supports touchpad and gamepad control schemes, which work perfectly fine, but this game is definitely best played with the new Gear VR motion controller. The trigger controls your thrust or glide, while clicking the touchpad engages your air brakes to stop you from overshooting your landing. Using the motion controller allows you to precisely control your takeoff trajectory and glide direction completely independent of where you're looking, allowing you to survey the area for your next move. The graphics in Daedalus are gorgeous. Primary shapes, reflections, and bright colors contrasting light grey stone create impossible architectures that perfectly fit the dream premise. All textures are high resolution and all movement and animations are completely smooth and stutter free. I'm impressed how the developer has made such basic shapes seem so alien. It's not a hostile environment, but it's definitely not of this world. But it's always beautiful and each level brings a new design to life. If you're using a Gear VR motion controller, the in-game representation is also quite good looking and functional. The circle measures your remaining thrust power, and wings pop out when you're in gliding mode. The sound effects are subtle but useful. For example, landing in your orb makes a metallic sound, while thrusting and gliding have appropriately different noises. The music, however, is fantastic. Subtle and melodic, yet slightly foreboding, the music amplifies the surreal nature of the graphics, and the two fit together perfectly. The music contributes greatly to the meditative feel of the game that I spoke of earlier, leading you to a zen-like state as you fly through this dream world. In terms of movement, this game most closely resembles Jump from April last year. However, due to the slower movement speed and acceleration, Deadless is far more comfortable. It's also more comfortable than Minecraft or any of the Gear VR flying games. I rank the comfort of Deadless roughly on par with Land's End or Althora, and only those who are extremely prone to VR motion sickness should be affected. As for sense of presence, the graphics and sound set up an amazingly immersive environment and the controls really seal the deal. No, it doesn't feel realistic in any sense, but that's not the point. The ability to move so freely through such a well-crafted dreamscape definitely brings a sense of agency to the gameplay that so many VR games still lack. Other than the trailer on the Oculus Store, I really didn't know anything about Deadless before playing it, and I've been pleasantly surprised the whole way. The graphics range from beautiful to mesmerizing, the flight mechanic is wonderful, and the gameplay and puzzles are challenging and definitely worth the asking price. If anything, I'd really like to have just a few more extremely difficult levels, since I felt like the game ended just as the epic challenges were getting started. Still, there's a lot of content here, and even more replay value if you're the speedrunning type. 
At the beginning of the video, I compared Daedalus to Jump, Never Out, and Portal, and I stand by that. In fact, on the Gear VR, I think it's the best adventure puzzler around. It's unique, well-crafted, and makes great use of VR as a medium. Deadless absolutely gets my recommendation. Thanks for watching. Got something to say about this video, an opinion of the game itself, or VR in general? Leave a comment to let me know what you think. And if you like what you saw, and you want to see more of this, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Remember, there's a new video every week, and be sure to check out my other reviews as well. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.